everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. We are down here in Cosmo, Mexico. We're staying at a Bureau Star, and we're diving with Dressel Divers. Let's go out and check out the reefs and see what marine life we can show you. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you what we saw at the Mayan temples down here in Cozumel. Enjoy. And don't forget to check the description below. I'm going to have a link to Dressel Divers and a Bureau Star Resort down there in Cozumel in case you want to book a trip yourself down there to do some amazing diving.
And we just got off the boat. We're back at a barrel star where we're staying. We're going to rent a Jeep, and we're going to go out to this archaeological site called San Gervasio. The San Gervasio Mayan ruins site has been the most well-studied of all the pre-Columbian ruins that exist on the island. The original name of the ruins was Tantan Cazamil, which in the Mayan language means flat rock in the place of the swallows. The modern name San Gervasio comes from the former ranch that once existed on the land. San Gervasio was at one point in time considered to be the center of the pilgrimages for the Mayan women who lived in the region of Quintana Roo. They would take boats to the island so that they could worship the goddess Itchel. Aside from being a very sacred place for the locals, it was also an important place to trade and politics. The site is large but is in rough condition after it was pillaged in the past by a arriving Spaniard. There are six main areas of interest at the site including some isolated temples situated in the jungle, all of which are joined by a network of ancient roads. Though the exact dates of the construction are unknown, the earliest estimations of occupation go back around 600 AD and continued up until 1650 AD. In 1518, Juan de Grijalva and his crew arrived and claimed Cosmel for Spain. Then in 1519 came the Hernan Cortez expedition which stopped by the island. The Spanish were welcomed in by the Mayan people of Cozumel. They were so nice that Cortes wrote a letter for the locals to give to any Spanish ship that would arrive on the island. The letter stated, there is no gold here and the people are peaceful people. When the Panfilo de Narvarius ship arrived in 1520, its crew members were sick with smallpox and managed to wipe out much of the local population. San Gervasio is home to three large grave sites that were direct results of the smallpox. San Gervasio is the most important and well-studied pre-Hispanic site of all documented settlements in Cosmo Island. Although most of the stone structures at San Gervasio now lack their roofs and upper portions of their walls, archaeologists from Harvard and the University of Arizona compiled detailed plans of the remains in the early 1970s that allowed them to create reconstruction views of these buildings. Rendering of these reconstructions are illustrated in the guidebook offered for sale by the Cosmo Parks and Museum Foundation. We hope you enjoyed this little episode down here in Cosmo, Mexico. We were able to show you what some of the diving had to offer right out front on the reefs at the Burrow Star. And we were diving with Dressel Divers, what a great group. Their links are in the description below. We were able to also show you San Gervasio Mayan Ruins. What a great place to come visit and check it out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also make sure you have the bell hit so you can stay up to date on all my videos. We will see you in the next adventure. Click on the next video to help the algorithm. Take care.